Hey guys, in this video we are going to integrate a simple pie chart into our system. So currently our dashboard page is empty and um, let's just display some charts. So currently I have so I'll introduce you to high chart. So it's a free tool so you can create charts into your system. So here is an example of how we can integrate it so I'm just going to copy so first is going to add a script into our file so I'm in dashboard.php if you refresh and then here we'll need to add this HTML so in our main content so this is where the chart will be rendered and finally this javascript file then here just add indention so if you refresh as you can see here we have successfully added a chart in our system so in the high chart code here the first argument this you should it should be an id of the um an element so that element should exist in our html so currently here's the container id this is where you render the file so if i remove this change id as you can see it won't render so just uh, make sure they're the same and then here um, these are just um, charting options so the title so we'll just update this one and I mentioned before we'll just going to create a chart a pie chart uh, regarding the status of the order product so here we'll be showing how much is in pending or incomplete or completed the status so here just going to do uh, purchase orders by status then if we refresh and then here let's jump into the series so the series is basically where you have to put or enter the data so as you can see here we have chrome then here as you can see this is the data for that edge 14.8 you can see here 14.77 it's rounded up so let's update this name instead of brand we'll have the status fresh and currently in our status we only have three of these uh, uh, values so we're just going to delete some then here will be add completed incomplete then here we can have the pending so the y is basically the numbers that we want are how many orders were pending or incompleted or incomplete so if we refresh so it's showing an error um, so here we'll just add the count so here we have pending and complete status and this is not the percentage so we can just remove this one fresh so point please stop I think we don't need this one so we're just going to fix this issue with the numbers um, for now let's focus on getting the numbers from 
our database so here we can do add uh, g not json but let's include a file so in the database scrap by that php uh, let's do a PO status graph by graph PHP. So if we refresh, we still don't have that data. We're just going to add our new file and then the PHP. So now this file just going to create a the script to pull the data so here we can do a loop so we are hard good the file or the status pending complete and incomplete and then let's put them inside an array so is that let's start with a php status i don't know if there's a word for i mean if it did that word exist then here um we can just copy some of this so we need to have the connection then here Copy, then we can use um, a for loop. So loop through statuses and query. So here we can do for each statuses as status. Then here we can add the statement then here select all from order products where status is equals to the status variable we execute and we have the row so let's just try to mark up the row and fresh so column not bound pending select all where status is equals order product where select all from so actually you can just use count from order product so basically this function will just count how much records for our query where status select So I guess I'll just use this one. Let's see if this will work. So here, select count from order product where status is equals to this value. So, so here, let's wrap this one inside a single code since this is a string. Um, see here we have the count 11 3 3 um, so instead of the count can this use an alias so let's see status count 
we refresh you can see status count equals 11 I think I can do or remove this one then let's die fetch one so actually no, we can just use the fetch and then here count will be row and then we can use this value or key refresh so that should return as the number then here can use results or maybe yeah do results and array oh here as you can see in our dashboard it should look all like this um format so we can just use results so this is an array name will be str2 hopper so this will convert the status to string and y we can use the count so if we remove and bar them the results one seventeen so this should be an arrow you can see here yeah uh, pending count eleven complete count three and complete count three so let's just convert them to integer so they are now an integer so now we have now the results so let's just add so let's try to add a status that does not exist so let's see what it returns uh, zero so we're good so now this results we have that access in this page since we included this one so get peel get graph data as a purchase order by status fresh so the same thing now here in our script we can just delete this one then add so this will convert the JSON and the results are fresh so as you can see here we have let's just bar down the data on results should have 11 uh, 3 3 0 so let's remove this on um, stand let's do um, results graph data then here fresh so this is an error on convert this one to JSON
So let's just slug the graph data. Four. So here as you can see, we have the correct data that however in our graph is showing different number. So in that case just update the formatting. So let's try to remove the tooltip. So as you can see it's showing as the right number. So basically this uh, here is if you want to format the data like maybe uh, the <coughs> or make it highlighted or strong so series name pending status so we can just use so I found this one instead of point format we can use this one so basically we can we have more access to the data so point y series y the same name we can then remove this one we think we don't need that one since it's redundant as you can see here status 11 so the series name we can add it Let's make it um, strong fresh uh, here pending incomplete sources So we can use series that data that zero that name. So um, fresh. Then we can so instead pending eleven pending three incomplete. So here we'll just use the point that name. So at this point, this will um, capture the this individual points in our series. So if we refresh, we have pending eleven complete three. Um, let's add the add the bold then remove that from the um, value so incomplete pending complete incomplete and then here in our this one um, can just remove this I guess pending F complete Just copy this one, I guess. Um, let's see if this point pointer exists. So they don't exist. So. We can just leave it. Um, what's the one? So point that Y. So as you can see here, we have simple graph. Then remove just description um, or maybe update. So here is the breakdown of the purchase orders by status. Fresh. So 
also let's remove the F refresh and then let's remove the bottom code so as you can see here we have added a simple pie chart in our system and the data are coming are is coming from our database so they have this one this styling we can just use that one so it looks good um, this input to move um, oh no So let's remove that input. So if you refresh, as you can see, it is working fine. So in our next video, we'll just add, or I'm going to show you and how we can add a bar chart into our page.